Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 81 hours into the flight of Apollo 11, a period of relative quiet. Uh, no doubt the Apollo 11 crew uh, quite preoccupied in uh, preparation uh, for the activation of the limb. Uh, during this period of relative quiet, uh, we'll pass along uh, heart rates uh, from the uh, LOI-1 burn, that's LOI-1, not LOI-2. Uh, we have yet to receive those numbers. Uh, the heart rate uh, for the Commander Neil Armstrong read uh, 106. For the Command Module Pilot uh, Mike Collins, uh, 66. And uh, for the uh, Lunar Module Pilot uh, Buzz Aldrin, uh, we have a reading of 70. At uh, 81 hours, uh, one minute uh, into the flight of Apollo 11, uh, this is Apollo Control Houston.
Apollo Control Houston at 81 hours, uh, five minutes into the flight, uh, still a period of relative quiet. Our uh, ground readings indicate uh, that the Apollo 11 spacecraft has uh, completed its uh, program uh, 52, that's to align uh, the inertial platform. Uh, indications from the ground are that it, uh, this activity went very well. And at uh, 81 hours, 6 minutes, continuing to monitor, uh, this is Apollo Control Houston.
Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 81 hours uh, 15 minutes. Uh, it's been an extremely quiet pass. Uh, no doubt the Apollo 11 crew uh, quite busy at this time. We uh, expect uh, at the time uh, entry is made into the lunar module, uh, Apollo 11, uh, as a matter of fact, will be out of acquisition, uh, traversing over the far side of the moon. At uh, the present time, uh, we read an altitude, uh, current altitude reading of uh, 56.7 nautical miles. Our uh, ground displays indicate an apolloon of uh, 65.4, a paralloon of uh, 53.8, and uh, spacecraft velocity of uh, 5,364 feet per second. Continuing to monitor, uh, this is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 81 hours, uh, 16 minutes into the flight.
Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. We're wondering if uh, you started into the limb yet, over. Uh, we have the uh, Sam Hatch out, the drogue and probe removed and stowed, and we're just about ready to open the limb hatch now. Roger, thank you much, Neil. We'll be standing by. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston at 81 hours at uh, 24 minutes uh, now into the flight. Uh, the silence uh, of conversation between uh, Mission Control Center Houston and the crew was broken there moments ago. Uh, Charlie Duke uh, called up uh, Apollo 11 and spoke with Neil Armstrong who indicated uh, that the hatch uh, I was out and uh, the probe and drogue removed and uh, they were about ready to open the lunar module uh, hatch. Our current uh, altitude uh, shows uh, 54.7 nautical miles, uh, Apolloon 65.4, Paralloon uh, 53.8. Interestingly enough, uh, the uh, part of the uh, limb activation uh, which we will follow most closely will be uh, at time of reacquisition uh, following our uh, pass over the far side of the moon. Uh, this will be on the front side. Uh, it will uh, afford us an opportunity for a communications check uh, with the lunar module uh, and uh, there will be a transfer to limb po uh, power. At 81 hours uh, 25 minutes, uh, this is Apollo Control Houston. Okay, Charlie, we're in the limb. The uh, docking index mark is the same. Roger, we copy. You heard that report from Neil Armstrong. Um, they're now in the lunar module. Houston will have LOS 8145, next AOS, stand by. Uh, next AOS 8232, over. Okay, 8232.
to Apollo 11. I'm going to start a maneuver to uh, B-22 at this time. 11, Roger, we copy. Over. Some water inside the command module for the first time. There's a little uh, puddle of it on the aft bulkhead, sort of like uh, 101 head. Roger. I'd like to know how ECOM wants to get rid of it. There are a number of different ways, and what does he think the best one? We'll be with you in a moment, Mike. Stand by. Uh, no big rush. It'll wait till uh, next rev or two. All right. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston, uh, 81 hours, uh, 30 minutes. Uh, now into the flight, Apollo 11. Uh, the Apollo 11... Uh, Commander and uh, lunar module pilots uh, appear to be a, a little bit ahead on their timelines in the uh, limb activation period. Uh, meanwhile, uh, command module pilot um, Mike Collins uh, proceeding further with his uh, landmark tracking uh, exercises. Uh, Mike also reported uh, a, a little puddle of water inside the command module. Uh, near the aft bulkhead, his reference to uh, like 101 uh, referred to the Apollo 7 spacecraft, uh, which was commanded uh, by Walter Schirra. Our uh, current altitude, uh, 54 nautical miles, current apolloon, uh, 65.4, uh, current paralloon, uh, 53.8. We now show a weight in orbit of uh, 70,472 uh, pounds. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston uh, continuing to monitor at 81 uh, hours, uh, 32 minutes into the flight.
This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, we're now some uh, five minutes away from uh, loss of signal with the Apollo 11 uh, spacecraft. That's, that's uh, we uh, currently show an altitude of 54.2 nautical miles, uh, Apolloon 65.4, Paralloon uh, 53.9 nautical miles. Uh, flight Director Milt Wendler now talking with uh, various members of this flight control team. Uh, we would expect uh, a final bit of conversation uh, prior to uh, loss of signal with uh, the Apollo 11 spacecraft. Uh, we'll keep our, our line up and continue to monitor uh, conversations uh, that uh, could transpire prior to loss of signal. Standing by at uh, 81 hours uh, 41 minutes into the flight, Apollo 11. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. We've uh, played back the yellow eye two burn. It looked really good to us. The uh, systems were all good. We got uh, an orbit on a limited amount of tracking bait at uh, 65.4 by 53.9. Over. <coughs> Sounds good, good. Yeah. Mark, three minutes now from predicted time of loss of signal. Mark, two minutes now from time of LOS. How's it going, Neil? The uh, 70 millimeter container's only got one black and white and one color in it. Uh, I'm supposed to have two colors. That's, that, that, that's not, that's mine. You got the wrong that's, one. That's, that's not the right one. The one, uh, the one you want, Neil, is, is way over here in uh, uh, R13. No, it's not in there. It was on my good shelf. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Mark, uh, one minute now from uh, yeah, time okay. of uh, LOS. No, but I will. Okay. Thank you. I, I had it in my mind that uh, our... Uh, our you want to do something with the co-ops over there, Neil? Uh, I'll stick it up there in the ceiling. Is it? Not really. There's a good place for it up there.
You want your 16 millimeter while you're down here? Yeah. 16 millimeter bag as well? Uh, we've now had uh, loss of signal with Apollo 11. At uh, 81 hours, uh, 45 minutes into the flight, this is Apollo Control Houston. Of Velcro on the Can't you stop some of that racket up there? Huh? That's the uh, S band. Uh, you turn your volume down. Is that better on the S band? Yeah. 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 There's one that's got mission rules in it. <clears throat> Which I can't wait at the moment put my hand up. No go, uh, go, no go, uh, one of one of them.
Uh, that's the one we made the change to, right? Right. It may be up in the... In the if you got another clip? Yeah, do uh, I thought we might just stick mine. Activation check to it right, right there and we'll be all ready for me. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay, we, we may be ending up with one more and we're authorized. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one of these will uh, be changed over to the left. Uh, as a matter of fact, I stole one from But one of them will change over to the left. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Here it is. I don't think the uh, this other one got changed. No, I didn't. You want to do that? Yeah, I can do that. nice to find out is if, uh, how well, so, the 80 millimeter, with the film pack on it, and color,
You know, we've got two magazines, two color ATS. One of them's R and the other is S. Yeah. I'm going to put the R in the reserve camera. Okay. And the S in the surface camera. Good idea. Even though we're going to use them the other way. <coughs> You want to try it out in there? I guess we could open the window here just as well. it over. Is it? Well, I hate to stick my finger on it. I'm not sure which side it's on. I'm going to have to turn the heaters on tomorrow. Black and white is magazine Q.
Backside now, right? Yep. This came in, but we're just coming into somewhere. And we don't get the uh, non pass or whatever. Uh, what's the mission time, Mike? Second. That ATI is even. 8202. 82. Okay, when do you get your tracking? In a little while. About what time? Before three hours. Yeah, that's just yesterday. I don't think there's any place except in the in here that it says anything about 16 millimeters. Yeah. Part, right? No, I'm thinking about for the sea thing. Ah, here we are. 16 millimeters. APS four, 576 pounds a second. Yes, I am. I'm just saying. I don't want it up here. I just want you to, when you get a chance to read off the items that are on there, make sure we got them. Just perform uh, housekeeping charge, stow helmet, storage bag, unstow mirror, checklist, and disposal assembly, stow interim storage assembly, unstow and configure for use, 16 millimeter HCEX F4 500 infinity. Six frames per second. That's all it says. And that's okay. That's where we are now. Right. Next thing is an hour from now, you transfer to limb power and activate the comm. Twelve feet per second. Say something about taking pictures right now? No, no. Stop the camera. Yeah, I know. I don't think they take a very good picture right now. Yeah, you get way up there and you can. There's a lot more than secondary. Oh, that thing is just old enough to have gone back.
Well, if we could get a towel, we could get us a couple of fair to Midland fishers out of here. Yeah, maybe uh, some of it will come off anyway. the cars and the forward window for undocking you. And you don't want the filter attached? Yeah, suck it up here. When do we have uh, ALS? Well, 
Wait till that ALS and... Oh... Another, uh, 20 minutes. I think the way we're sitting, why we're going to be able to get a picture. Yeah. And the earth coming right up there. <coughs> there you go. There you go. Unique features, topography. <laughs> the rock has appeared on the top of it. <laughs> what are these in years? Five, six, or two fifty? I have an exact time of ALS, of course I don't have a watch uh, set up for that. Yeah, is this where you want the cause? I'm just fooling around. What do you need? ALS time? ALS is going to be, uh, yeah, let's see. Thirty, about 15 minutes from now. Okay, I'll get another good picture of what's coming along. Well, hell, I guess we might as well load the other camera and make sure it works, too, huh? I guess the uh, chronometer is with the shaving right? <coughs> yeah. Now, look, if we load this one, uh, if I put the film on this one and take a picture or two, uh, I'll have to take it back off again. That's the only trouble. I won't have to, but it doesn't go as neatly. I don't mind uh, doing power descent with a camera there. I think that's probably all right. Well, wait a minute. I bet I could put this one loaded where the other one goes.
Hey Neil, you see any need for keeping this thing in the laminate cover for the camera? Think about that for a while. Uh, I got it loaded and I don't see any need to ever change it. If it works now, I guess if it quits before we actually win EVA, All right, there might be some reason to. Five, six, or two fifty, is huh? Two pictures of that, one of Earth rise, and uh, then we'll show it. do anything till we transfer to Lim Power. This thing, you see any need to, to keep that in the lamp? Yeah, well, what did you do with the uh, Brazil camera back plate? Okay, what do you think about that? I can't think 
Well, it's a Coaz uh, dust cover, but I think fits in the same category, don't you? The thing that you gotta move out to put the Coaz in.
know what I'm doing you know, here just, you know. Hey, Mike. Yeah. You got VHSD available? What? Say again? I don't know. According to this live meeting, I'm powering up VHSD. TR. Not right now, not for another half hour or so. No, I know, but, uh... Are you going to have your VHF on? If I'm going to record your data, I am. Now, I'm going to take a little spot on that recording data. Apollo Control Houston, uh, we're now within uh, two minutes uh, from time of predicted acquisition of, of the Apollo 11 spacecraft. As uh, we make uh, this pass, uh, near side pass, on the fourth revolution, uh, it will be the first time that uh, we've transferred uh, during this mission to lunar module pilot uh, power and uh, a communications uh, check will be performed on the lunar module. We should be hearing such things as long counts uh, being given uh, from the spacecraft. Additionally, a new display, uh, the lunar landing site display, is now up for the first time in Mission Control Center this flight. It's essentially a blow-up uh, for the landing sites uh, one and two. Uh, we expect it to, to stay up uh, through the uh, time of lunar landing. Meanwhile, in Mission Control Center, uh, Flight Director Milt Windler uh, beginning to discuss uh, with members of his flight control team uh, items that might be expected uh, after we acquire. We're less than a minute away now at this time, uh, at this time from uh, our forecast acquisition. We'll stand by. Standing by now for acquisition. Yep. I can't see the blue squat. I can see the earth, but uh, I guess we're allowed to fix it. Uh, we have acquisition. Uh, we are receiving uh, telemetry data at this time. Hawaii and Goldstone both have acquired. Okay, yes, and we'll be doing 3.2 in just a couple of minutes. That was Mike Collins indicating he would uh, uh, be doing a little additional landmark tracking. Uh, we shall hear further from him shortly.
Come back up? No. Here's your station. My only problem is I'm going to come over here and grab the switch and arm this hand controller. All right. I'll be out of your way. Okie doke. I tell you what you could do, if you're not doing anything else, is uh, supposed to take five marks, 30 seconds to park. When I take the first one, you can take a hat and see uh, when I'm safe properly, you know what I mean? So it takes me along on when to take uh, mark number two, mark number three, four, five. Give me a hack on the MDC uh, mission timer. It's going up to 35 minutes. Ready, mark it. Okay, good. That program alarm is normal. It will reach that when uh, the string gets down below 50 degrees. All I'm doing is waiting for uh, the time. Everything else is done. You old an inertial, Mike? Yes. No wonder the earth isn't moving. I only got set up for this thing about an hour early. <laughs> Better late than never. Better early than late. Well, I don't know what that is. I got the earth down by the strut. Problem with this window is, Neil, I think it's uh, too cold in here. Neil, I'm going to go stand at six. The fan can tell his arm, so beware. Okay. This is Apollo Control Houston, uh, 82 hours, uh, 38 minutes uh, now to the flight of Apollo 11. Only a single contact uh, with uh, Apollo 11 uh, thus far this pass uh, when Mike Collins identified he was uh, 
still involved with uh, program uh, 22, the auto optics uh, landmark tracking activity. Uh, we expect additional conversation as the uh, path transpires. Uh, presently, we're reading uh, on our uh, orbit displays an altitude of 65.1 nautical miles. Apolloon, uh, 65.3 nautical miles, a paraloon of uh, 54 nautical miles. We currently show a velocity on uh, the Apollo 11 spacecraft of uh, 5318 feet per second, 5318 feet per second. At uh, 82 hours, uh, 39 minutes, and continuing to monitor, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston. You're going to be at in front radio to see you. Just looking through your periscope, sir. What I need is um, three to five tenths on this thing, uh, closer to three. I'll get it, but just you know, I'll double want check. Uh, Twenty-five. 
dirty market in the kids, okay? I have a feeling somehow I gotta do these quicker than this. Market number three. Okay. Fifteen. Market number four. Okay. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Market number five. Checklist says, you can go blind there now. 50 miles, 50 points by 16 to a speed. 671 confirmed 10,000. 0689 confirmed 32750 to a speed. Just leave it, keep pitching? Yeah. But I don't know why we're getting that stress here, okay? Maybe that's getting unhappy. Let's roll on this stuff. Look at this roll. It's, uh, it's so mild. Yeah. It's just like the simulator. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not happening. We're yawning uh, pretty good. Four tenths. Okay. I'm going to have to take that Toward out. Toward Gimbalot. Toward Gimbalot. It's only going 10 degrees toward Gimbalot. Yeah, that's pretty good air. Yeah. 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 Would you like to... Uh, over there? I'd say you wouldn't have to take it for a while. You're looking at power 11. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. you copy that 949 on your down right because you had enough time up to be. Oh, we got it. Uh, go ahead, Mike. Roger, Mike. This is Apollo on Control the Houston at 82 hours, uh, 48 oh, minutes, uh, now on the flight of Apollo 11. Our uh, air ground uh, sounding somewhat noisy, uh, this being because uh, we're utilizing the Omni antenna uh, for downlink. Uh, this is uh, a requirement because of the attitude uh, required for landmark tracking, uh, the program okay, 22. Says where we want to, uh, stop. At uh, 82 hours, uh, 48 it's, it's minutes, uh, continuing to monitor. Uh, this hey, is Apollo Control Houston. Quite a ways. Uh, is that local vertical? No, it's not. Yeah, that's Apollo Control Houston. Okay, the rest of those pictures are for the lunar surface. Can I go back to 229 or what? Let me see the flight plan in a second. Yeah. Might as well just, just let it stop itself, you know. I'm gonna look at the uh, Yeah, go ahead. Is it pitching like gangbusters? Yeah, it should be quiet again. Oh, oh, no. 
Mount Maryland. Yeah. Okay, we didn't waste any gas by doing what we did, but what we wasted gas by was that goddamn DAP activity. I don't understand. Just like the simulator. Showing up. You got a good view there, Neil? Yeah, I sure do. Houston, follow up. Go ahead, 11, over. Houston, follow up. Houston, follow up. Now, all that procedure for P-22 seemed to work uh, very well. The only thing uh, that was a little odd is that there was some damp thruster activity. I had pitch and Excel command and roll and yaw and rate command. And somehow uh, roll and yaw got uh, excited and uh, DAP went into a flurry of thruster firing. Uh, we've noticed the same thing in the CMS and just written it off as a CMS peculiarity. Uh, Roger, we saw that activity. Mike, uh, we'll see if we can track it down let you know. Over. Okay. Because I'm not going to proceed to the attitude now. Over. That's in work, Houston. Uh, okay. yeah, I'm not holding this for just a little yeah, bit. I'm going to pull this attitude a little bit. I don't know what the key is. That's beautiful out there, isn't it? Yeah, it's really something. You've got to look at this. You want to watch our face in the lane and stuff. You've got to look at this. It's coming over there. I can just tell you.
Houston, we're holding inertia a little while to study the approach to the landing zone. Roger. This is Apollo Control Houston at 82 hours uh, 55 minutes. Uh, our uh, current uh, spacecraft altitude is uh, 62.1 nautical miles. Our orbital parameter is essentially the same as 65.3, 53.9. Coming up. Uh, right here. Yeah. Just beyond it, that. That crater so right at uh, 82 there. hours, uh, 55 minutes, we continue to monitor. And this is Apollo Control, Houston. Look at that motion. He's my favorite. Look at that thing. He's got a road triangular road lead right past him. That's US-1, I guess. There's Crater 130 over there on our... Sabine D. Bill? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I can see it for sure. Yeah, I got a beautiful. I can. I got the whole landing side here. That's far. The one that's shorter there. Uh, Houston, this is uh, Apollo 11 uh, and 8, and uh, Apollo 11 and 8, and uh, I've got a uh, Apollo 11, Houston, you are breaking up badly. Say again, over. Uh, Roger, I can see the uh, entire landing area from the position I'm in, uh, looking out the left window in the line. This is Apollo Control Houston. Uh, that was a report from uh, Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin that he could see the entire landing area uh, out the window. At uh, 82 hours, uh, 58 minutes, this is Apollo Control Houston. Roger, Houston, this is Looking. Good enough, Pumpkin. Look, Roger, come on. This is a good job down there, but you, but you can't find a single spot on the surface that doesn't look rough at one degree centigrade. That's, uh, that's just a lousy centigrade. That's a spectacular idea. Looks like you're flying right into the side of a mountain, doesn't it, man? Mm -hmm. I'm just taking a well, that was good, Sam. So we go to maneuver. I mean, the sleep attitude. Anybody object to doing this? Want to be on it? Okay, I'm ready for you cats to uh, transfer to Lem Power. Uh, okay. What time GET you got? 80? This is transmission, bud. 83 hours. You ready to do it? 
Well, shouldn't be. You ready to do it? Uh, stand by. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Okay. You got 83 hours right now, huh? Yep, 83 hours and you're on one power. Houston Apollo 11, uh, how do you read on the uh, high gain, over? Uh, right flank, you're right now, over. Okay, you want wide gain for some reason? Cut my, uh, two-power and uh, audio off, please. You're looking right down, but along, along the end of the sail towards your earth, so we need you in wide gain, over. Okay, fine. Okay, going off now. We're starting our maneuver to sleep attitude, uh, roll 82, pitch 229, yaw zero. Roger, the angle you got in the flight plan will be good when you get there. By ready maneuver? Go ahead. This is Apollo Control Houston at 83 hours at uh, two minutes into the flight of Apollo 11. Currently we show an apolloon of 65.3 nautical miles, a paraloon of 53.9. Uh, we would expect uh, the transfer to uh, lunar module power to occur momentarily. And uh, from that point on the uh, communications check uh, with the lunar module. 83 hours, uh, 3 minutes, and standing by, this is Apollo Control. Yeah. Houston. You're past step 4. Houston, we'd like you to put, take the low voltage tap, uh, all presets in, all over. Stand by, we 
We got it. We just had one pick and picker out of position. Okay. We have him gray now. Receiving uh, data from the lunar module on our displays here in Mission Control Center. Attitude. Just stand by one. As soon as we get there, I'll find out where they are. I don't want to check with the DAP right now.
Thank you, Dreadman and Beam. Mike, what are your parents been on up there? Say again? What are your parents been on up there? I'm about to get you in my game area. Just one second. Okay, we're there. I don't hear you on either time. Uh, you good? Yeah, it's in Apollo 11. Uh, Apollo 11 Eagle. Over. Roger, Eagle. This is Houston. We read you. Over. Roger, uh, I read you about 4x4. Four four. Could you give me a short count, please? Eagle coming in with a short count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We don't read them, bud. 4, 3, 2. He's, he's, one. he's on Lem X band, uh, Neil, apparently. Oh. Yeah. That was uh, Buzz already. Uh, Roger, are you copying my uh, low bit rate, over? Roger, right, we got some beautiful data here, Eagle. We're, all our guys are looking at it. Uh, system guys will have some work for you in a minute. How everything looks. Uh, Roger, I'm all ready to switch to high bit rate, if that's okay with you. Would you please stand by, Eagle? We want to get to the proper sleep attitude before we proceed on with the comm check, over. Uh, Houston Eagle, go ahead with the uh, camera check out. Uh, I'm still on uh, low taps and uh, I assume there's no problem doing that. Over. Stand by. That's permitted, no problem on that Eagle. You can go ahead and uh, power up the sequence camera. Over. Columbia, how do you read on the high game? Yeah. Uh, Eagle, be advised, uh, sounds like a hot mic, over. Did you hear him answer? No! I didn't hear it. Bryce is reading him now. Uh, Roger, if you read me now, uh, I am in hot mic because I'm, uh, I'm going to push the talk and sound voice back up, over. We just wanted to remind you, over. Thank you. Columbia, this is Houston. Are you maneuvering to sleep attitude, over? We have lost all our voice and uh, data with the sleep attitude, over. Hey, Mike, you coming over in the sleep attitude? Hey, how about us? Can you hear me, Bob? I don't believe they can hear you, Mike. Can you, are you maneuvering now to sleep attitude? Well, we're in sleep attitude, and I got the high gain uh, angle. Right 
This is Houston, do you read over? Houston, this is Eagle. Roger, read you loud and clear. How are you, over? Roger, reading you five by also, Buzz. And we got the high bit rate. It's looking beautiful through Goldstone. Giving you a count. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Please give us a count, over. Houston Eagle with a count. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Upper. Uh, Roger, stand by. Read, read you bye bye. Over. Okay, I'm ready to go. That's band voice. Over. Stand by, Eagle. Stand by on the step four. This is Apollo Control Houston, a uh, voice count exchange between Buzz Aldrin and uh, the L Eagle, the Lunar Module, and uh, Charles Duke uh, here in Mission Control Center. Columbia, this is uh, Houston. Would you please give us two and accept? We got a, a load for you. Frank, Eagle, we are ready to go to step four. Please select S band voice. The voice, over. Hello, Eagle. This is Houston. How do you read? Normal voice. Over. Eagle, this is uh, Houston. This is Eagle. Read you loud and clear on uh, S band normal voice. Tell me over. Rod, you're beautiful. Uh, this uh, mode, Buzz, that we're reading you five by. Coming with a short count, and we'd like one back from you. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Houston out. Houston Eagle, you're gorgeous also. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Eagle, over. All uh, right, Eagle, this is better than the uh, down voice backup. Stand by one. Eagle Houston, uh, everybody's happy as a clam with this mode. Uh, we'd like to stay here for a little bit. The telemetry looks great and the voice is great. Over. Roger, understand. I'm checking out uh, camera number four now.
This is Apollo Control Houston. Our communications check out uh, with uh, the Eagle apparently going uh, very well at this time. Again, what you're checking out, over. Roger, Houston. Uh, Eagle has checked out uh, both 70 millimeter ca cameras and uh, both 16 millimeter cameras and all work fine, over. Sounds great. Stand by. Eagle Houston, we've looked over your systems on a high bit rate. Everything looks super. We're ready to go. Over. Roger, stand by. You want to go back to a little bit right now? Uh, stand by on that. Over. Eagle Houston, uh, we look uh, good through the 210 on this mode. We're going to shift uh, data select to an 85-foot dish to see what we got, and then we'll be back through to you on the 210. If you'll stand by a couple of minutes in this mode, we'll be back with you. Over. Roger, Eagle, standing by. This is Apollo Control Houston, uh, 83 hours, uh, 21 minutes uh, now into the flight. Uh, meanwhile, uh, aboard the Eagle, uh, apparently uh, Buzz Aldrin and uh, Neil Armstrong, although Buzz is doing uh, most of the comm check at this time. Eagle Houston, how do you read? Over. Houston Eagle, read you loud and clear, over. Uh, Roger, we're reading you 5-by. We got the voice good through the 85. Uh, the telemetry is in and out through the 85. Stand by, we'll be back through you with you to the, through the 210, over. Eagle Houston, you can go step five now. We'd like low bit rate, over. Houston Eagle, you have low bit rate. Uh, Roger, copy, Eagle. Yeah. Eagle Houston, could you give me a short count? Uh, this mode, over. Houston, this is Eagle with a short count. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Eagle, over. Roger, Eagle, you're five by. This uh, S-band voice is really beautiful, over. And Eagle of Houston, uh, we'll be standing in a Standing by in this mode for a minute or so. We'll be back with you if you'll just stand by. Over.
Eagle, this is Houston, coming through the 210, how do you read, over? Roger, Agent Abu Graham. Eagle, this is Houston. Uh, we're happy with all our data in all modes. Uh, you can power down the comm now. Over. Roger, understand. Uh, Eagle will power down the comm. And uh, we're just approaching uh, 27 volts now. It looks like uh, we won't have to bother with the uh, high tap. Right. Powering down. Out. Roger, copy. Out. Houston, we got a TEI 11 pad for you and an update on the water dump. Over. Stand by one, Houston. Are you through with this? That's firm. Over. Okay. This is Apollo Control, Houston. 83 hours at 27 minutes uh, now into the flight Apollo 11. That last exchange between uh, Charlie Duke, uh, our capsule communicator, and uh, Buzz Aldrin aboard the Eagle, identifying that uh, we're very well satisfied with the communications check on the lunar module, and uh, we'll proceed with uh, powering down the spacecraft. At 83 hours, 27 minutes, uh, we now read an altitude of 54.3 nautical miles, a velocity of uh, 5,376 feet per second. And this is Apollo Control, Houston. Columbia, ready to copy TEI 11, over. All right, Columbia, here we come with the TEI 11. SPS GNN 37200 minus 060 plus 047. Now 33 Zero five two four two two plus four one four four eight plus zero three seven one niner minus zero two four two two roll is in a pitch zero. Two zero 
rest of the pad is N.A. Set stars are N.A. The ullage is two quads, correction, two jet for 16 seconds. Use Bravo and Delta. In a comment, uh, the undocked uh, present CSM, correction, this is a front. TI-11 is undocked, present on board weight of the CSM is 37200 pounds, about 50 alpha in your DAP, over. All right, I read back, TI-11, FPS GNN, 37200, minus 060, plus. 047 plus 098, 05 2422 plus 41448 plus 03719 minus 02422. NA 020, rest of pad NA. College 2 jet for 16 seconds. Quad CNT. Undocked. Present CSM weight is okay in the depth. Roger 11, and we'd like you to do a wastewater dump at 84 hours down to 25 percent. Over. Roger, understand. Wastewater dump to 25 percent at 84 hours. Roger, and Mike will have LOS in about 11 minutes at 83.44. AOS is 84.30. And prior to or at LOS, we would like you to go uh, uh, configure the S-band for high grain uh, track to react, high gain beam to narrow. Uh, and let's try that uh, to see if we can get an automatic react at the next AOS. Over. All right, good idea. That uh, was Mike P Collins aboard uh, Columbia taking down a uh, maneuver pad. Right. Apollo 11, Houston, also that water that you got on the aft bulkhead, we, uh, if it's not too much, we just recommend sopping it up and then throwing the sponges away in the waste, in the waste uh, storage area. If it's too much, then we use, recommend using the procedure uh, in the checklist on page F10-14. Over. All right, thank you. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston, 83 hours, uh, 34 minutes uh, now into the flight, uh, Apollo 11. The uh, lunar module uh, communications uh, has, uh, has been uh, deactivated. Uh, we currently show a velocity of uh, 5,377 feet per second. Our orbital parameters uh, now read uh, 65.1 nautical miles apolloon. 54.2 nautical miles paraloon. At 84 hours uh, 35 minutes, uh, continuing to follow, this is Apollo Control Houston.
Apollo 11, Houston, would you have uh, Buzz uh, make sure he gives us the ops pressure readings for you to close up? Over. Well, now. Uh, this is Apollo Control Houston, uh, 83 hours, uh, 38 minutes, uh, Apollo 11 now on CSM power. This is Apollo Control Houston, 83 hours, uh, 40 minutes, uh, now into the flight Apollo 11. We're uh, less than uh, four minutes away now from uh, time of uh, loss of signal with uh, the Apollo 11 spacecraft. Present time, our velocity reading, uh, 5,300 and 75 feet per second, uh, our uh, total uh, Weight in orbit at this time, uh, reading 70,502 pounds. Our orbital parameters, uh, Apolloon uh, 65.1 nautical miles, Paraloon uh, 54.2 nautical miles. This is Apollo Control Houston.
This is Apollo Control Houston at 83 hours uh, 43 minutes uh, now to the flight Apollo 11, uh, less than a minute away uh, from uh, predicted time of loss of signal with uh, the Apollo 11 spacecraft. We expect uh, the next time we acquire Apollo 11, uh, its crew, uh, Neil Armstrong, Mike Collins, uh, Buzz Aldrin, uh, uh, will have begun their rest period. And at uh, 83 hours, uh, 43 minutes, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston. But, uh, well, uh, the right. Eleven has uh, passed out of range uh, uh, with the ground. Uh, traversing now over the uh, far okay. side of the moon. Uh, during this pass, uh, we had an extremely successful communications check out uh, uh, with uh, the lunar module using its code name for the first time, its code name of the Eagle. Uh, Buzz Aldrin uh, performed the counting tasks in concert with Charlie Duke, uh, the capsule communicator here on the ground. And at times, uh, Buzz's vo and Buzz's voice, uh, we noted uh, considerable enthusiasm for the way things are going. And at times, uh, Charlie Duke uh, shared that enthusiasm. And it's uh, made and check out in communications. The lunar module eagle looked good. At uh, 83 hours, 45 minutes, uh, this is Apollo Control, Houston. Okay, lights went out. Except for all those radioactive ones in there. like that sound to work. Well, I propose leaving the probe and drug in here overnight. Save all doing all that clap crap in the morning. Okay with me. Fine. You sure the lead? Uh how's that gonna affect the uh, Sleeping? Sleep there. I'll be glad to sleep over there. Right? 
I don't think it'll affect you. I don't sleep. I don't sleep with probing drugs and have to dick with it in the morning. Oh, that's good, fine, huh? That's a good thing. I don't know how I get out. But. <laughs> yeah, I can. Watch the end. Yeah, you don't want to bring this one back? Go on a weight saving kick for the command module? You want it? Sure. You, for the you got storage safe. You can have it if you want it. You got a place to stick things that rattle around? Sure. I catch it? Sure, what I do with them. Time to get out of the hallway. Well, let's get some music. Get out of my damn hallway. All in so I can put my hat in and then we'll get off. How about these tapes? Okay. Yeah, Yes. So I guess the comms uh, pretty well taken care of? Yep. And you got the wastewater now? No, I haven't done that, but I will. Uh, see, I imagine you want to go out of voice? Or not? Whatever you said there, sir. Slider down the way until 84 hours. They may have a vent model or some crazy thing like that, so I want to be at the right time. Sorry. Well, let's see. Normal lunar configuration. Well, it is down, boys. Back up. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go on. Primary, primary, high, boys. <coughs> BCM. 
range. Sound voice back up. Box tape off. Telemetry to data. And uptel command to normal. We just A and B off. Well, calm set. Good. I gotta vacuum up some water and dump the wastewater tank and we're about to I gotta feel so. O2. Hey, the water's about all gone. Hey, did they say anything about the O2 uh, surge? It's about to in a lamp. Yeah, no. I think it did. It went on the windows. They didn't say anything about it, huh? No. Well, I guess we'll do it then. Anybody give them a... Well, heck, I guess we're really not through with them yet, are we? I, I updated the yellow time. And... Yeah. I think I'll wait until we get them back again before doing the purge. Okay. Because I don't know, maybe they want all that stuff done on the back side. Well, I propose to give myself a little bit of a, a bath, but not to uh, put the damn LCG on tonight. We never did ask him at the, uh, at the dress job, huh? I, I sure haven't found him. I think we ought to do that. You know, you still got that tissue dispenser, the empty one? Thank you. Baseline altitude. You understand this? For altitude, uh, descent altitude setting. that piece of bread in
through in the tunnel, Mike? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me get the lights out there. Says one zero zero one three. 